then we've got so many calls coming out. I just want to get straight into this yes. so we don't waste any time. Yes. Um, I want to talk to Kaylee. Hello, Kaylee. Hi, are you OK? I'm OK. Are you OK? <laughs> you're, you're 26 weeks pregnant. This is your second child. And it says here you're terrified. Yeah, I am. I'm really terrified. Any particular um, reason? Yeah, well, it was. I had a planned C-section with my son three years ago um, due to him being breached. Mm -hmm. But when, when my son was four days old, I ended up in hospital with a burst stomach ulcer off the anti-inflammatories off the C-section. Oh, dear. Um, so they've told me that if the baby turns this time, I'm best to go natural. Um, but I have to make that choice by next month whether I go natural or do I go back to a C-section. And I feel more scared this time than the first time about it. OK. What's your, what's your, your gut instinct, C-section or natural birth? Um, natural birth is everything went right, but that's no guarantee of a natural birth, is it? So I really yeah. don't know. No. You haven't got long to decide either, have you? Um, what, what would you say? No. Hi, Kayleigh. Hi. Hi, yeah. Um, gosh, what, what an ordeal you've been through. That sounds really full on. Yeah, it was. It was a hard time, to be honest. It was quite scary, especially being away from my son for a week when he was only four days old. That was the hardest part. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important that you're talking to your midwife. I know you said in your message that um, she's encouraging you for a natural birth, and that's, that's brilliant. Um, a positive birth can still be an ele elective C-section if, if that's what you want, and you should be supported in, in the choice you made and you make at the time. Um, I think it sounds like it was quite traumatic and stressful, so it's all about um, control, isn't it? And it sounds like you really lost a bit of that control with the last birth and being separated from your baby when you were unwell. That's it. I mean, it really was no control at all. Mm. The whole... Even the whole natural birth, there's no control of that. And, and now, obviously, being a woman, that's what you have to go through. But it is, it is the scariest part of it, so be what if something you, happens, what if I'm not there? I what? suppose you do have a bit of control, though, don't you, with the natural birth? I mean, obviously, if things are going wrong, the baby kind of decides how it, goes, it comes out. But yeah. you do have yeah. choices, don't yeah. you, with the natural birth? It's Absolutely. Not no, out of gosh, your hands. no. Um, I think a lot of people would choose an elective section if they'd had a previous traumatic birth because they would know exactly what day it's happening, you know, a time or a rough time when it might be happening. Mm. Um, I think it's really important, Kaylee, that you maybe go through your notes about what happened last time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've got the same hospital or the same midwife. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. So you could go through your notes and have a look at your um, your birth notes and see what happened and why it happened, and your midwife and obstetrician can then go through those and reassure you, and then you've just got that bit more information before you make a decision. Well, good luck to you in oh. that decision, Kayleigh. Thank you for phoning in and talking to us this morning.